56 ethnic groups form a splendid Chinese culture. These ethnic cultures have taken root in their own soils and merged with each other. The stories of how people preserve, innovate and spread their cultures reveal the diverse and integrated Chinese culture of today. In November 2020, a video clip featuring the smiling face of Tenzin, a Tibetan herder, went viral online. Videos of Tenzin, or Dingjun in Mandarin, hit over 10 billion views on Chinese social media platforms. His signature smile has drawn visitors to Gars, with an average altitude of 4,000 meters, Litong is known as the world's highest city. Litong means a grass dam flat as a bronze mirror in Tibetan. There are galloping horses, vast grasslands, and Tibetan culture. Thousands of years ago, the city was an important trade hub on the Tea Horse Trail between Han and Tibetan ethnic groups. But today, its charms are less known to the outside world. Dudong has been working to promote Litang cultural tourism. He is now known as the man behind Tenzin. Living in Litang more than 10 years, this young man of the Han ethnic group, originally from Nanjing, learned how to speak Tibetan and regards himself as a Litang native. After 20-year-old Tenzin rose to fame, he joined Du's team as a tourism ambassador for Litang. <laughs> Our company is called Litang Xian Wen Liu Ti Yu, Tourism and Investment Company. The employees are about 20 people. I'm the only Han person. Then they are all Zhangzhou native people. Currently, the housing fee and the rent fee is 14 million. Du believes the beauty of Litong deserves to be seen by more people. Litong is known as an encyclopedic town of Tibetan culture. Here a visitor can experience beautiful Tibetan scenery and the Tibetan lifestyle. But the company encountered challenges promoting Litong in the early days. In addition to adjusting to the plateau climate, Du's team has to deal with money shortages, cross-culture communication barriers, and a lack of relevant work experience. With Tenzin's popularity, the Tibetan town drew attention overnight from across China. Du's team responded with live streaming events, short videos, and cultural and creative products with the theme of Li Tong and Tenzin. Tenzin speaks for Litang, and Litang speaks for China's Tibetan areas and the Tibetan culture. Tenzin opened a door for the world to come to Litang, and Litang has prepared gifts for visiting guests. Tenzin got off to a good start spreading Tibetan culture. Litang will also find its own path eventually.
The Zhuang people are China's largest ethnic minority. They have a history of more than 2,000 years. Using Chinese characters as a reference, their ancestors created a unique writing and left an extensive amount of documents that record their history, culture and production activities. Preserving ancient texts is a lonely occupation. Wei Ruzhuo has been at this job for 23 years. The task of preserving ancient texts of minority groups is urgent. Many precious texts are scattered everywhere and lack professional protection. For Wei, collecting books is a race against time. The number of owners or inheritors of ancient books and characters is down to single digits. If they pass away, these ancient texts will be at risk of disappearance. In 2007, a plan for protecting ancient books was launched in China taking the preservation and restoration of these ancient books to a new level. So far, the National Catalogue of Precious Ancient Books has more than 13,000 volumes, many written in minority group characters, including ancient Zhuang. Although Wei deals with ancient books on a daily basis, the books don't seem ancient to him. In today's Zhuang people's homes, these books remain bedside reading and can guide their lives. Tang Fu in ancient Zhuang means the path trodden by ancestors. Being the most representative book of the Zhuang people, it documents rituals for worshipping ancestors, prayers for blessings and congratulations on their longevity to the elders. In the eyes of Wei Ruzhuo, each book, page and character nurtures the soul. It's also a bond that connects a nation's past and future. The protection and research of ancient books is not only to save old writing, but also to ingrain timeless memories of a multinational state. The Future Ethnic Orchestra is introducing its intricate folk music to the world. The Future Ethnic Orchestra was formed by members of different minority groups who are also inheritors of intangible cultural heritage. Their aim is to create a new aesthetic system that merges ethnic minority and popular culture. I 
我们在一起做了很多音乐的创作的尝试。那个时候我发现他就是在做这种民族跨界的东西，我觉得特别有意思。哇，苗年真的是非常非常值得一去，我想去体验，非常壮观。所以这一次我们去，如果代表着。啊，我们乐团，然后谁合适？嗯、首先，我觉得像央格里老师肯定、嗯、肯定合适吧，对吧？然后苗族情歌王子，叠长可以、啊、情歌传承人，我觉得叠长也是有代表性的。呃 ，Mars 肯定是带队。嗯。As the biggest annual celebration of the Miao people, the Miao New Year festival for them is a carnival not to be missed. 其实我原来就跟民族音乐有着渊源，那我大学读的也是民族学院，我觉得那个时候其实没有一个厂牌或者公司做的特别的先锋，呃，跟国际的结合或者是民族的东西怎么能够把它打向世界，走向世界。Mars studied music in the West. With his enthusiasm for folk music, he joined the band. 哎，哎呦，新歌，终于到了。我们要不排一下我们可能苗年的邀请的那个歌？好，那就试试，试试吧，试试，来来来。嗯、我们做东西很慢，这就是一个向下扎根的过程。其实这就是一个我们需要把我们的音乐种在最扎实的土地里面的一个过程。The nutrients from the ground are what makes new national music exuberant. When I do popular music, I go back to my local minority culture, look at their work, listen to their work in their work. This old man told me this is called Hao Dao. Yes, this is how you hear the land sound. 我们的音乐是有很多的用农作物去做成的音乐，它来自于我们的呃传统的少数民族。我们的音乐不光是用来听的，还用来体验、用来看的。However, it's never easy for cultures to integrate. 做跨界呢，因为我也失败过，我做过很多次的尝试，很多东西都是。两层皮就完全是两个不同的概念，要硬要搭在一起的感觉。让中国少数民族的音乐成为全世界都能够听的流行音乐，我知道这很难，这非常难。Breaking the cocoon for rebirth is a process that often comes with pain because you need to put in a lot of energy. 当时花了很多的时间。花了很多的大量的编曲的版本、混音等等，不计其数去打造它一张完美的作品。我们做出来了，听的人很少。我觉得任何一个事物从零到一的过程是非常辛苦的，要经历那种最深沉、最暗沉的时刻，经历过可能才会真的死里复活。In 2017, Ah Dua and her team released the album Reborn. The album was submitted in the hope of securing a nomination for the next year's Grammys. Music once buried in the ground thus became better known across the world. The Miao New Year Festival was held as scheduled. Three members of the Future Ethnic Orchestra immersed themselves in the atmosphere of the festival, feeling the enthusiasm. 就感觉到很震撼。只有自己经历了苗年，你才知道他们有多疯狂。你会被他感动，你会落泪，你也会狂喜。未来民族乐团，它不光是土家族、苗族、彝族、布依族，应该是五十六个民族的音乐这样的一个音乐体系。我希望我们民族音乐和民族文化是埋在土地里，早一点的生根发芽，让它真的有一天变成一棵大树。Coming from rural areas and living through time, the cultures of various ethnic groups have retained their diversity. Abundance, glowing with full vitality. 
They carry the spiritual heritage of the Chinese people and stride into the future. Jimmy 